Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video we will discuss the initial reviews and reactions to Jodie Whittaker's first debut episode as the first female Doctor in Doctor Who series 11. To start off with, the episode itself I thought was brilliant. It's a great way to involve people who haven't seen the show before with the show now in its current format. I think the way the, the writing in it, although it's only although I'm only basing the opinions off of the first episode on what I heard, it looks like this series is going to progress to be possibly one of the best series the BBC has ever produced by the end of the 10 weeks. Now, the viewing figures for this episode soared. And when I say soared, I mean over 8 million people watched the first episode of Jodie Whittaker's debut on Sunday. Um, over the last 10 years, Doctor Who has been dipping up and down in ratings between being pushed around with Strictly Come Dancing airing uh, before Doctor Who, uh, usually around 6 or 7, and then Doctor Who being put on immediately after that, kind of brought viewership from Doctor Who and put a lot of it into Strictly Come Dancing, which took away a lot of the viewers for Peter Capaldi's run as the te tenure as the Doctor in series 8, 9 and 10. Specifically, I think this would become more visible, this became more visible uh, in series 10 as <coughs> each week the viewing figures kind of spiked and then fell down again. Uh, so for instance, the recent series, the Peter Capaldi's last series uh, as a Doctor, series 10, his first episode only opened with, I think, just about 6 million people tuning into watching it. Um, and then as the series progressed, because of the, the length of the episodes and because of the amount of episodes there is, uh, that viewing figure kind of decreased even less up until about, I'd say, Capaldi's final episode as the Doctor, uh, when we saw, not twice upon a time, but world in time enough, and the Doctor falls. I think that was when the viewing figures went up for a little bit, and then there was just kind of a, a drop-off point then, because there was those two episodes and then we had to wait about what series 10 ended in July 2017 um, and then it was a f six month wait for the Christmas special so naturally there would be a drop off point in between that time period um, but yeah I think the direction that the showrunners and the executive producers are trying to bring this new format of a show in is working extremely well. Um, the viewing figures are phenomenal for the first female actor in a role that um, that has never been done before. A female has never been cast as a doctor before, and I like the idea of the inclusivity of the role of the Doctor is not just for male actors, it can be for male and female actors, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, it's all about being inclusive of people of different backgrounds and different kind of, not to put it in religion, not to put a religious aspect on it, but 
that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to incorporate everything so that everybody has a fair say in how the series is run, what's involved in the series, and how they can get everybody involved in the series. And I think Jodie's first episode as a female doc, as a f as a doctor, uh, particularly becoming the first female um, in the role of what was supposed to, what is supposed to be for men. Um, I think that's that's great for the series uh, and. Progressively, as the show goes on, um, I hope to see more inclusivity of people uh, being involved with the series and having more of a say in what goes on behind the scenes. Um, interestingly, more girls tuned in to watch the first episode of the new series than boys. There was a slight drop off between, it was very minimal, um, if I can find the article below that I was reading it off earlier um, about the viewing figures, I'll link it below, I think it was done by BBC uh, they had reviews on the, on the episode and they also brought out the viewing figures I think early this morning um, or early Monday morning uh, so a link to the article that I mentioned will be down in the description and uh, you can go and check that out there um, I've praised the new composer Stephen Akinola for his uh, music composures and the orchestra that he works with uh, in composing the music and doing that uh, so if you want um, I have the last two videos I did on the run up to series 11 so I have the breakdown of news that we had over the summer in the lead up to it, in the lead up to the brand new series and I'd also link the series 11 review that I had up on Monday evening oh no sorry, Sunday evening I will have uh, that up in an info card and also down in the description below um, yeah, the viewing figures were phenomenal um, to summarise the viewing figures of Series 11, Episode 1, The Woman Who Fell to Earth, were phenomenal. I do hope to see that continue as the series progresses to throughout the nine weeks. Um, more inclusivity, more... Just more inclusivity in general is what I'd like to see out of a series that um, didn't necessarily focus on inclusivity in the last few years. Um, so hopefully that will also continue throughout the series run as well. Um, as well as that, I think series 11 has gotten off to a brilliant start. Um, it was very, albeit the episode itself had a few pitfalls. I think for the majority of the episode it kept everybody on the edge of the seat um, in regards to the plot, the characters introduced, and the storyline. Um, there was a lot of relatable characters that I could relate to personally and um, on a personal level as well as a viewer. Um, and also I think viewers in the likes of America and Ireland and the UK and all that, uh, they could also relate to the characters in the first episode in some way or another uh, as well as as well as that so um, I think we have to wait until the iPlayer catch-up figures are released before the final outcome is announced of the viewership but overall the first episode did a phenomenal job in pulling in viewers and uh, being able to grab people's attention. Tomorrow I will have a preview video for episode 2 out. 
um, the ghost monument. Uh, we've had promotional pictures and I think we've had a few interviews released about it. Um, but I'll have to do some research on that. Until then, I'll see you in tomorrow's video for a preview sneak peek of episode 2 coming this Sunday. So stay, t stay tuned for that and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon. If you like this video, please like the video down below, comment what you'd like to see next and subscribe to the channel for more Doctor Who related news, reviews and general discussions on the show and other topics that may take your interest. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.